Hey, Megan Scully, and this is the Limerick Post Show. We're here in the Savoy Hotel, where the launch of Aladdin is taking place. And look at these two beautiful souls beside me. Richard Lynch, how are you getting on? Amazing. I'm so excited to play the Emperor in Aladdin this year. Beyond excited. Miles Breens? I'm with your twanky this year, but my heart is scalded. My son Aladdin is good for nothing. I'm washing his knickers all day long. Mm. I'll tell you, I can, Aladdin's going to be jam-packed and full of fun again this year, isn't it? It's absolutely selling out. So if you want your tickets, you better go buy them right now, pronto. have to say, I'm loving the lipstick. Oh, thanks very much. Just a little something I call Nightingale's Blush. <laughs> it helps make all her dreams come true. So when is it kicking off in uh, the University Concert Hall? December the 16th until January the 5th, 2020. <laughs> So at loads of dates. At the University Concert Hall. And if I could have three wishes, I'd want a new washing machine, a new tumble dryer, and a mobile home in Kilkee. Well, sure, look, we all want a mobile home in Kilkee, don't we? Yes. <laughs> and the full range of Specsavers new glasses, because they are the sponsor of this panto, after all. <laughs> all right, mention the sponsors. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so, so much. I look forward to seeing you on stage. Let's go in and uh, join the party, shall we? Yay! Yippee. I'm now joined by the star of the show, Hayley Joe, who of course plays Jasmine. How are you getting on? Yes, great. Good to be back again, third time in a row. So, yeah, it's really nice to come back and see everyone again and see all the little ones that are coming back after the previous years. It's lovely. You must be getting so uh, well accustomed to Limerick now. Definitely. Absolutely. Like, I love visiting the Crescent Shopping Centre between shows. <laughs> um, yeah, but it's great. I know Limerick really well now, almost just as well as I know Dublin. So it's always, everyone's really welcoming in Limerick. And yeah, I know it like the back of my hand. It is a good spot. Mm. And I have to say, growing up, Jasmine was always my favourite Disney princess. Mm. So it must be amazing to play such an iconic role. For sure. It's, I think it's going to be my favourite out of the three. Um, I've always loved Jasmine because she had brown hair. And I was like, I have brown hair. Um, but she's such a cool one and a strong one. And she's got a backbone about her, which is quite cool too. So, And the jewels. And it's a lot more glamorous than Cinderella and Snow White. So yeah, I'm really excited about this one. Have you seen the new remake of um, Aladdin that they brought out just recently? I haven't seen it. I've, I've downloaded the soundtrack and I literally listen to it all the time. Like, I'm, obs I'm obsessed with Will Smith in the, in, on the soundtrack anyway, but I haven't seen the film, so I'm going to have to watch it before the show starts. I actually only saw it last week myself, and it's because I love Aladdin so much in the story, so obviously we, we all know the, the original story then, and then to see it again in remake, it's just like, it's great to see so many Disney movies, that it's happening to that now. Yeah, no, it's great. Um, the same, I suppose, when, Cinder when we did Cinderella two years ago, it was great because the movie came out, and this timing is perfect, because yeah. Aladdin's come out. So I am dying to see it, because I do love a remake. Some people kind of give out about it, but I love to see the whole action, like, lifelike things. It's not a cartoon anymore, so it's cool. And also, of course, great cast and great lineup. Mm -hmm. um, um, some you've worked with before, some new people as well, so you must be excited to work with everyone. Oh, definitely. Um, it's so great to have Tom O'Mahony back again. He literally keeps us laughing through the whole contract. Honestly, once he doesn't make us laugh on stage because he's <laughs> terrible for that. Him and Richie Hayes are the worst. <laughs> and I'm a giggler, so the minute they start, I'm gone. Um, obviously, we have Johnny and Rachel, um, who are both absolutely lovely. Um, and I'll have Dale Cronin annoying me again for Christmas, <laughs> which seems to be the norm every year. I'm going to have Dale Cronin annoying me. So, um, But no, it's great. And of course, Richard and Miles. Um, we're just a family now, so it's really nice to have the family back together again. Hayley Joe, cannot wait to see you on stage and I know it's going to be absolutely phenomenal. Thank you so much for joining the Limerick Post Show. Thank you. <laughs> I'm now joined by the main man from Aladdin, of course, Aladdin, Dale Cronin. How are you getting on? Not too bad, how are things? I'm really good. Um, you're back in Limerick now. Are you excited for the next couple of weeks? Yeah, I'm really excited. I just want to get going and get cracking on the stage and I'm really looking forward to the, this show. It's just going to be the best one yet and I'm not just saying that, but I, I do mean it. Now, I've grown up watching Aladdin. Were you a fan yourself? Where I what? Was I what? Did you a fan of Aladdin growing up? I thought you said you were growing up watching me. I was like, <laughs> oh, thanks. Um, yeah, of course, everyone loves Aladdin. Like, Aladdin was like the greatest show ever. Like, you, it's one of them shows that you can literally just watch on repeat nonstop. So it's, it's an honor to actually be Aladdin, Jimmy. You know I mean? It's, it's going to be crazy. Like. Now, how much prep goes into it, like, from basically when you get the role to getting on that stage? Um, yeah, a lot of prep because, like, you know, you kind of have to, like, look into different ways of how to, like, do the character and, like, you know, be fun and be energetic but also he needs to be a bit serious as well because he's obviously in love with Jasmine and so it's, it's, there's a lot going on in that one character so I'm looking forward to taking on that role and hopefully doing it justice. 
Now, I know, of course, you came from uh, D- Dance with Stars as well, and Johnny was inside there. Like, um, have you found now that you're just you're keeping up all the dance moves? Like, did it kind of like become part of your like everyday life now? That just because you know you were literally went from dancing nonstop to literally, winning it, everything. Yeah. yeah, well, like dancing has always been like my passion. Like, I've actually opened up a dance school off the back of Dance no with way. the Stars. Yeah, yeah, in Cork yeah. City. So dancing has always kind of been my main thing. So yeah, I've been keeping it up ever since I'm actually I'm getting a bit old now my back's a bit sore but no I, I love dancing and it's great to meet Johnny and it's great to chat with someone who's been on the show and experienced the same experiences that I've done so it's great and obviously with Catherine as well last year but it, it's just different from uh, with Johnny and stuff you know, yeah. singing dancing acting is there anything you can't do uh, cook <laughs> deadly serious I know I'm actually learning um, yeah no like I've, performing has always been my main thing and I, I, since I've been young I've loved performing so I'm, I'm lucky I get to do what I love every day Dale Corona, we look forward to seeing you on that stage. Thank you very much, Chat Thank you Show. Much. Thank you. I'm now joined by Johnny Ward, who probably plays one of the most frightening characters I've seen for me growing up as a child. I was always so afraid of Jafar. Yeah, well, it's Abenizer, is the, the, the Padto version of Jafar. And uh, it's great. Really, really looking forward to it. Um, I, look, I love kidnapping people, you know, on <laughs> and off screen. I've kidnapped too many in Fair City. We've had Katie, we had Emmett, poor Rose. Tessie, who I eventually stabbed, God love her, and then uh, and Barry O'Hanlon for no reason whatsoever. But now I just want to get away from that, and I want to, I want to kidnap Aladdin, and I want to kidnap Jasmine, and I want to kidnap that genie, and I want to take over the world. So that's what I'm doing myself these days. How was the transition though, going from Fair City to Panto, and kind of you know going from playing these like serious roles to kind of maybe having a bit more fun on stage? There's not much difference at all. <laughs> to be honest with you, there's actually not difference at all. No, of course it's. Do you know what? It gives you an excuse to. To take a different exit on the roundabout would be completely yeah. different, you know. And, and one thing I love about Panto is it's to do with Christmas. And I remember going to the, the Panto as a kid with my family, and it's a tradition that I love. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to do Panto last year because Dancing with the Stars was happening. But this particular production is something I wanted to be involved with for a long time. Someone I'm really blessed and privileged. We've got a phenomenal cast here as well, you know. Really, really good cast. With, uh, with the likes of Richie Hayes, Dale Cronin, obviously from hometown, and uh, uh, they, they just Rachel O'Connell from Copperface Jacks the Musical, Hayley G. We've just got a phenomenal, phenomenal cast. I'm really, really looking forward to, to meeting them. And you get to spend so much time in Limerick. Yeah, exactly. And you know what? One, one place I've never really been before is Limerick. I've been here once or twice to watch a match, and that's, that's about it. So uh, really looking forward to, to meeting the people and spending Christmas down here as well. It'll be so much fun. And tell us this, um, how's the dancing going? Are you, have you kind of forgotten about it? Or are you still dancing away? No, we literally danced yesterday. We were doing uh, the Dance with the Stars tour, um, and it finished, it finished up on Saturday. So uh, it was brilliant to get back to it again. It was just we had like a week and a half of rehearsals. So, you know, revisiting dances like that jive and the tango was very, very difficult. But we did really well. We did really well. We topped the leaderboard every single night like we did on the show, but we still didn't touch that glitter ball. <laughs> oh. But fingers crossed there's another tour coming back in, in April and myself and Emily will have a chance to do it then. Thanks. So safe to say a man of many talents. Can't wait to see you up on that stage. And thanks so much for trying oh, to the show. Thank you so much for having me. Thank really you. appreciate it. Cheers.